Numbers 27. Zelophehad was from the Manasseh tribe, and he had five daughters, whose names were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Tirzah. One day his daughters went to the sacred tent, where they met with Moses, Eliezer, and some other leaders of Israel, as well as a large crowd of Israelites. The young women said, You know that our father died in the desert, but it was for something he did wrong, not for joining with Korah and rebelling against the Lord. Our father left no sons to carry on his family name, but why should his name die out for that reason? Give us some land like the rest of his relatives in our clan, so our father's name can live on. Moses asked the Lord what should be done, and the Lord answered, Zelophehad's daughters are right. They should each be given part of the land their father would have received. Tell the Israelites that when a man dies without a son, his daughter will inherit his land. If he has no daughter, his brothers will inherit the land. But if he has no brothers, his father's brothers will inherit the land. And if his father has no brothers, the land must be given to his nearest relative in the clan. This is my law, and the Israelites must obey it. The Lord said to Moses, One day you will go up into the Abarim mountains, and from there you will see the land I am giving the Israelites. After you have seen it, you will die, just like your brother Aaron because both of you disobeyed me at Meribah near the town of Kadesh in the Zin Desert. When the Israelites insulted me there, you didn't believe in my holy power. Moses replied, You are the Lord God, and you know what is in everyone's heart. So I ask you to appoint a leader for Israel. Your people need someone to lead them into battle, or else they will be like sheep wandering around without a shepherd. The Lord answered, Joshua, son of Nun, can do the job. Place your hands on him to show that he is the one to take your place. Then go with him and have him stand in front of Eleazar the priest and the Israelites. Appoint Joshua as their new leader and tell them they must now obey him just as they obey you. But Joshua must depend on Eleazar to find out from me what I want him to do as he leads Israel into battle. Moses followed the Lord's instructions and took Joshua to Eleazar and the people. Then he placed his hands on Joshua and appointed him Israel's leader. Numbers 28 The Lord told Moses to say to the people of Israel, Offer sacrifices to me at the appointed times of worship, so that I will smell the smoke and be pleased. Each day offer two rams a year old as sacrifices to please me. The animals must have nothing wrong with them. One will be sacrificed in the morning and the other in the evening. Along with each of them, two pounds of your finest flour mixed with a quart of olive oil must be offered as a grain sacrifice. This sacrifice to please me was first offered on Mount Sinai. Finally, along with each of these two sacrifices, a quart of wine must be poured on the altar as a drink offering. The second ram will be sacrificed that evening, along with the other offerings, just like the one sacrificed that morning. The smell of the smoke from these sacrifices will please me. On the Sabbath... In addition to the regular daily sacrifices, you must sacrifice two rams a year old to please me. These rams must have nothing wrong with them, and they will be sacrificed with a drink offering and four pounds of your finest flour mixed with olive oil. On the first day of each month, bring to the altar two bulls, one full-grown ram, and seven rams a year old that have nothing wrong with them. Then offer these as sacrifices to please me. Six pounds of your finest flour mixed with olive oil must be offered with each bull as a grain sacrifice. Four pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with the ram, and two pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with each of the young rams. The smell of the smoke from these sacrifices will please me. Offer two quarts of wine as a drink offering with each bull, one and a half quarts with the ram, and one quart with each of the young rams. 
Finally, you must offer a goat as a sacrifice for sin. These sacrifices are to be offered on the first day of each month, in addition to the regular daily sacrifices. Celebrate Passover in honor of me on the 14th day of the first month of each year. The following day will begin the festival of thin bread, which will last for a week. During this time, you must honor me by eating bread made without yeast. On the first day of this festival, you must rest from your work and come together for worship. Bring to the altar two bulls, one full-grown ram and seven rams a year old that have nothing wrong with them, and then offer these as sacrifices to please me. Six pounds of your finest flour mixed with olive oil must be offered with each bull as a grain sacrifice. Four pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with the ram, and two pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with each of the young rams. Also offer a goat as a sacrifice for the sins of the people. All of these are to be offered in addition to the regular daily sacrifices, and the smoke from them will please me. Then on the last day of the festival, you must once again rest from work and come together for worship. On the first day of the harvest festival, you must rest from your work, come together for worship, and bring a sacrifice of new grain. Offer two young bulls, one full-grown ram, and seven rams a year old as sacrifices to please me. Six pounds of your finest flour mixed with olive oil must be offered with each bull as a grain sacrifice. Four pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with the ram, and two pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with each of the young rams. Also offer a goat as a sacrifice for sin. The animals must have nothing wrong with them and are to be sacrificed along with the regular daily sacrifices. Numbers 29 On the first day of the seventh month, you must rest from your work and come together to celebrate at the sound of the trumpets. Bring to the altar one bull, one full-grown ram, and seven rams a year old that have nothing wrong with them, and then offer these as sacrifices to please me. Six pounds of your finest flour mixed with olive oil must be offered with the bull as a grain sacrifice. Four pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with the ram, and two pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with each of the young rams. You must also offer a goat as a sacrifice for sin. These sacrifices will be made in addition to the regular daily sacrifices and the sacrifices for the first day of the month. The smoke from these sacrifices will please me. The tenth day of the seventh month is the great day of forgiveness. On that day, you must rest from all work and come together for worship. Show sorrow for your sins by going without food, and bring to the altar one young bull, one full-grown ram, and seven rams a year old that have nothing wrong with them. Then offer these as sacrifices to please me. Six pounds of your finest flour mixed with olive oil must be offered with the bull as a grain sacrifice. Four pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with the ram, and two pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with each of the young rams. A goat must also be sacrificed for the sins of the people. You will offer these sacrifices in addition to the sacrifice to ask forgiveness and the regular daily sacrifices. Beginning on the fifteenth day of the seventh month and continuing for seven days, everyone must celebrate the festival of shelters in honor of me. On the first day, you must rest from your work and come together for worship. Bring to the altar thirteen bulls, two full-grown rams, and fourteen rams a year old that have nothing wrong with them. Then offer these as sacrifices to please me. Six pounds of your finest flour mixed with olive oil must be offered with each bull as a grain sacrifice. Four pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with each of the rams and two pounds of flour mixed with oil must be offered with each of the young rams. You must also offer a goat as a sacrifice for sin. These are to be offered in addition to the regular daily sacrifices. For the next six days of the festival, 
you will sacrifice one less bull than the day before, so that on the seventh day, seven bulls will be sacrificed. The other sacrifices and offerings must remain the same for each of these days. On the eighth day, you must once again rest from your work and come together for worship. Bring to the altar one bull, one full-grown ram, and seven rams a year old that have nothing wrong with them. Then offer these as sacrifices to please me. You must also offer the proper grain sacrifices and drink offerings of wine with each animal. And offer a goat as a sacrifice to ask forgiveness for the people. These sacrifices are made in addition to the regular daily sacrifices. You must offer all these sacrifices to me at the appointed times of worship, together with any offerings that are voluntarily given or given because of a promise. Moses told the people of Israel everything the Lord had told him about the sacrifices.